welcome to another Mine Factory Reloaded Block Spotlight. My name is Tom and today I'm having a look at the conveyor belt. You can see them right behind me there. But first let's take a look at the crafting recipe. Just some rubber bars, a little bit of redstone and an iron ingot and it will net you 16 conveyor belts. Now you probably guessed it what these conveyor belts do. They can move items. Just like uh, item ducts or uh, build craft pipes, they are used to be, they are used to move items. And if you use your sledgehammer, you can actually turn these around in different directions. So even if you place them wrong, you can just rotate them like that. And they can also move the player. So if I step on it, I will move along. And there are diamonds. Now, if you have a slope in between, it's no problem either. Just use your precision hammer and you go up the slope and down the slope. No problem there. Now if you're somewhere in your mob farm or, or item collection system and you want to go back up, well that's going to be very very difficult. Except for when you get these. These are plastic boots. Very easy to cross. Just four pieces of plastic sheet. And if you put these on, you are immune to the effect of the conveyor belts. It does not affect you at all. Now, if you think this is a little slow, very easy. You grab some glowstone dust and you just start right clicking all the conveyor belts, like so. And you might already see it in the graphical, uh, well, how it graphically portrayed that it goes very fast. Put some diamonds on here, put some diamonds on there, actually on the belt. You can see quite a difference in speed. Well, of course it doesn't affect you if you're wearing the plastic boots. Another thing you can do with these is you can dye them with ceramic dye. And ceramic dye is just some clay with some uh, dye. You can use any dye and then you can make any color. You can just use a ceramic dye like so and then you can right click them and then you will paint them. But you can also just put them in a the crafting table and then with any dye you can just make different colors of your conveyor belt. Whatever suits your fancy. If you want purple ones, you can purple ones. And then last I've got a setup here. This shows you that it's not just items or players that can be moved around. You can also move around mobs. And they will stick to the conveyor belt. Even if you make turns, they will just stick. You can see him struggling, trying to get off, but it's impossible for him. And over here, you can see that if it just ends, they will just fall off. No chance of getting anywhere else. And that concludes the spotlight on the conveyor belts. I don't think I missed anything. Thank you for watching. Ooh, look at these rubber boots. They're quite fancy. If you like this video, leave a like. If you did not like this video, leave a dislike. Tell me why you dislike this video. And I'll see you next time when we thread further into item transportation with Mine Factory Reloaded. Bye!